John Ritter, born Jonathan Southworth Ritter on September 17, 1948, was a beloved American actor best known for his comedic roles. He started his acting career in the late 1960s, but it was his breakout role in the hit television series Three's Company that catapulted him to stardom in the late 1970s. His portrayal of Jack Tripper, a bachelor posing as gay to share an apartment with two women, earned him critical acclaim and cemented his status as a household name. Throughout his illustrious career, Ritter appeared in numerous films, including Splash, Problem Child, and Skip Parts. However, he never strayed far from TV, where he continued to shine in shows like Hooperman, which won him an Emmy Award, and Hearts of Fire. In addition, he lent his voice to animated programs such as Clifford the Big Red Dog and The Lion King to Simba's Pride. Despite being diagnosed with an aortic dissection, Ritter courageously returned to work on eight simple rules for dating my teenage daughter before passing away. Suddenly in 2003, posthumously, he received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, further solidifying his place among entertainment legends. To this day, audiences remember and cherish Ritter's warm smile, impeccable timing, and undeniable talent in every project he touched. John Ritter was a beloved actor, known for his comedic timing and warm personality. He starred in hit TV shows like Three's Company and movies such as Sling Blade. What sets John Ritter apart from his contemporaries is his ability to make people laugh and feel good. His characters were relatable, and he had a unique gift for physical comedy. Do you have a favorite John Ritter moment? Perhaps it's his hilarious performance in Three's Company or his emotional role in Sling Blade. Whatever it may be, we'd love to hear about it in the comments below. We'll be sharing many funny, shocking, and sad facts about this classic star, so be sure to keep watching. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to John Ritter? We invite you to share your stories and memories with us. John Ritter's work has left a lasting impact on many of us, and his legacy continues to resonate today. His talent and contributions to the world of entertainment have made an indelible mark. So, let's take a moment to appreciate this iconic actor and the joy he brought to our lives. Born on September 17, 1948, in Burbank, California, John Ritter was destined for a life in entertainment. His father, Tex Ritter, was a famous country singer and actor. As a child, Ritter often accompanied his dad to movie sets and grew fond of acting. He attended Hollywood High School and later studied psychology at the University of Southern California. However, he couldn't resist the lure of show business and switched to studying theater. During his college years, Ritter became deeply involved in theater productions. He honed his skills under the guidance of prominent figures like Nina Foch, a renowned actress and teacher. Her emphasis on discipline and truthfulness in performance left a lasting impact on him. After graduation, Ritter joined the actors group The Groundlings, where he sharpened his comedic talents alongside future stars like Phil Hartman and Paul Rubens. Ritter's big break came when he landed the lead role in the hit television series Three's Company. Inspired by the British sitcom Man About the House, it revolved around Jack Tripper, played by Ritter, a young man living with two women while pretending to be gay due to their landlord's strict rules against unmarried couples residing together. This classic comedy series ran from 1977 to 1984, making Ritter a household name and earning him an Emmy Award in 1984. Throughout his career, Ritter continued working in various genres, from drama to musicals, both on stage and screen. Despite his success, he remained humble and committed to his craft, always eager to learn and grow as an artist. Even after achieving stardom, he credited his teachers and peers for shaping his journey and never forgot his roots in Burbank or the lessons imparted by those who influenced him along the way. John Ritter, born in 1948, left an indelible mark on the film industry through his comedic talent and versatility. His breakout role in the sitcom Three's Company brought him widespread recognition and cemented his status as a beloved figure in American television. Throughout his career, Ritter demonstrated his ability to seamlessly shift between genres, excelling in both dramatic and comedic roles. He starred in numerous films and TV shows, including Sling Blade, Bad Santa, and The Barefoot Executive. Despite passing away in 2003, his work continues to resonate with audiences today. One of Ritter's most significant contributions was his mastery of physical comedy. With impeccable timing and infectious energy, he could elicit laughter from even the simplest gestures and facial expressions. This skill set allowed him to bring depth and nuance to every character he played, making each performance truly memorable. 
Aside from acting, Ritter also made strides behind the camera. He directed episodes of popular shows like Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Felicity, demonstrating his range and creativity beyond just performing. Moreover, Ritter used his platform to give back to the community. He supported various charitable organizations throughout his life, focusing primarily on children's causes. After his untimely death, the Actors Fund established the John Ritter Foundation for Reortic Health in his honor, further solidifying his impact on both the entertainment industry and society at large. Overall, John Ritter's influence extends far beyond his own era. Through his impressive body of work and commitment to philanthropy, he has undoubtedly earned his place as a timeless icon in Hollywood. Even now, new generations continue to discover and appreciate his talents, ensuring that his legacy lives on for years to come. John Ritter's passion for acting took root in his early years, as he grew up in a family where performing arts were highly valued. His father, Tex Ritter, was a famous country music singer and actor. As a child, Ritter was often backstage during his father's performances, which sparked his initial interest in the world of entertainment. During his teenage years, Ritter's family moved to Los Angeles, providing him with ample opportunities to explore acting further. While attending Hollywood High School, he participated in various school plays, quickly discovering his natural talent and enthusiasm for being on stage. In an interview, Ritter once shared that he felt a rush of excitement and pure joy every time he performed, which solidified his desire to pursue acting as a career. One pivotal experience that fueled Ritter's passion for acting was his time at the University of Southern California. He enrolled in the school's prestigious theater program, where he honed his skills and learned the intricacies of the craft. Ritter's dedication and hard work paid off when he was cast in the lead role of the USC production of The Boyfriend, a classic musical. His performance received rave reviews, and it was clear that Ritter had found his calling. After his successful run in The Boyfriend, Ritter decided to leave USC to focus on his acting career. He started by appearing in various television shows and films, gradually making a name for himself as a talented and charismatic performer. Ritter's big break came in 1977 when he was cast as Jack Tripper in the hit sitcom Three's Company, a role that would catapult him to stardom and cement his place in television history. Throughout his career, Ritter continued to captivate audiences with his comedic timing, warmth, and versatility. His passion for acting never waned, and he remained dedicated to his craft until his untimely passing in 2003. Ritter's legacy continues to resonate with fans and fellow actors alike, serving as a testament to his enduring talent and unwavering commitment to the world of entertainment. John Ritter's family tree was a blend of Southern and New England heritage. His father's side hailed from the South, with ties to Texas, Georgia, Tennessee, and Louisiana. On the other hand, his mother's roots were more in colonial New England, particularly Massachusetts and Connecticut, as well as New York. This mix of backgrounds created a unique family history for the actor. In the classic show The Waltons, Ritter portrayed Reverend Matthew Fordwick. Interestingly, his character often attended church, while in real life, Ralph Waite, who played the role of the father in the series, was a licensed minister. Waite even assisted Ritter in his role as the Reverend. During the 1980-1981 season of Three's Company, the cast and crew faced significant challenges. Suzanne Summers, who played Chrissy, demanded a substantial salary increase and part ownership of the show, which was denied. As a result, she often did not show up for work. John Ritter and Joyce DeWitt then refused to work with Summers, leading to Chrissy's character being written out of the season, except for a tag scene at the end of each episode. These scenes were filmed early in the day to ensure that Summers was off the set before Ritter and DeWitt arrived. Near the end of the season, Summers was fired and Chrissy was never seen again. This tumultuous period in the show's history was a difficult time for all involved. John Ritter, a talented actor, faced numerous obstacles early in his career. Born in 1948, Ritter came from a family of entertainers, but this didn't shield him from financial struggles. In fact, his family sometimes relied on food stamps to get by. Despite these hardships, Ritter's passion for acting never wavered. As a young man, Ritter enrolled in the prestigious New York University to study drama. However, he soon found himself in debt, forced to withdraw from the university due to financial constraints. Determined to pursue his dream, Ritter turned to community theaters and small television roles to gain experience and make ends meet. The entertainment industry can be notoriously skeptical and Ritter faced his fair share of rejection. 
Network executives often doubted his ability to handle leading roles, citing his background in comedy as a potential hindrance. However, Ritter refused to let industry skepticism deter him. Instead, he used it as motivation to hone his craft and expand his range as an actor. Ritter's resilience and determination paid off when he was cast in the groundbreaking television series Three's Company in 1977. His portrayal of Jack Tripper, a charming yet clumsy bachelor, catapulted him to stardom and silenced his critics. The show became a cultural phenomenon, solidifying Ritter's place in television history. Throughout his career, Ritter continued to defy expectations and overcome obstacles. He starred in numerous films and television shows, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Ritter's ability to adapt and evolve in the face of adversity is a testament to his unwavering dedication to his craft. In the end, John Ritter's story is one of perseverance and resilience. His ability to overcome financial struggles, industry skepticism, and personal challenges is a source of inspiration for aspiring actors and a reminder that success is often achieved through hard work and determination. In the pilot episode of Three's Company, John Ritter, in the role of Jack Tripper, makes a subtle nod to his late father, Tex Ritter. As Jack Ritter says, well, you know you have to learn to trot before you can gallop. Who said that? eliciting laughter from the audience. This was Ritter's way of honoring his father's legacy. Moving on to another role, Ritter portrayed Ben Healy in Problem Child. Interestingly, in 1999, Ritter married Amy Aspect, who played his on-screen wife in this film in real life. Finally, when it comes to the actor's final resting place, John Ritter is buried at Forest Lawn Memorial Park at 6300 Forest Lawn Drive in Los Angeles, California. His gravesite, Lot 1622 Court of Liberty, is located near Stan Laurel's gravesite, making for a unique and meaningful tribute to his place in Hollywood history. John Ritter's career took a significant turn in 1977 when he was cast as Jack Tripper on the classic sitcom Three's Company. His groundbreaking performance as a straight man living with two women broke barriers and captured audiences' hearts. Ritter's physical comedy and impeccable timing earned him critical acclaim and solidified his place as a sitcom star. The actor's portrayal of Jack Tripper was a game-changer, as described by his co-star Joyce DeWitt, John brought a warmth and vulnerability to Jack that made him relatable and lovable. Ritter's ability to balance humor and heart resonated with viewers and paved the way for future sitcoms. In 1984, the actor showcased his dramatic range in the made-for-TV movie The Dreammakers. His nuanced performance as a struggling writer earned him a primetime Emmy nomination further solidifying his status as a versatile actor. Critics praise Ritter's ability to seamlessly transition between comedy and drama, with the Los Angeles Times noting, Ritter's performance is a testament to his talent and range. Throughout the 1990s, the actor continued to challenge himself with various roles, including a memorable turn as a con man in the film Problem Child and its sequels. Ritter's comedic chops were once again on display, endearing him to a new generation of fans. In 2002, the actor was cast in the critically acclaimed drama Eight Simple Rules for Dating My Teenage Daughter. His portrayal of a loving father navigating the challenges of raising three teenagers earned him posthumous acclaim and solidified his legacy as a beloved actor. John Ritter's career was marked by groundbreaking performances and a unique ability to blend humor and heart. His impact on the entertainment industry continues to be felt, with his legacy as a talented, and versatile actor living on through his body of work. In Up in the Air, a beloved episode of the classic sitcom Three's Company, John Ritter's character, Jack Tripper, showcased his comedic skills in a long dance sequence that earned him an Emmy Award nomination. Interestingly, this was the actor's favorite episode, while Chrissy and the Guru was his least favorite due to his walrus impersonation. Beyond his role in Three's Company, Ritter also left his mark in the film it, as Ben Hanscom. Another notable project featuring both Ritter and fellow actor Tim Curry was over the top. Sadly, Ritter's life came full circle when he passed away in the same hospital he was born in, the Providence St. Joseph Medical Center. This poignant fact serves as a reminder of the actor's deep connection to his community and the indelible impact he left on his fans. John Ritter, an actor known for his comedic talent, had a unique approach to his work. He once said, I'm a believer in the philosophy that you should be who you are and do what you want to do. This philosophy shone through in his performances, making them genuine and relatable. Ritter's style was often physical, using his body as a tool for comedy. 
He was trained in pantomime, which he incorporated into his acting, creating memorable characters. His performance in the TV show Three's Company is a testament to his physical comedy skills. The actor's personal experiences often influenced his work. For instance, his father's career as a textile manufacturer inspired Ritter's interest in costumes. He once said, I love costumes. I love the way they help you become the character. This interest was reflected in his work, as he often paid close attention to his character's wardrobes. Ritter's worldview was also reflected in his work. He was known for his kindness and generosity, often going out of his way to help others. This kindness was reflected in his characters, who were often caring and considerate. In conclusion, John Ritter's unique approach to acting, influenced by his personal experiences and worldview, made him a beloved figure in the world of comedy. His genuine performances and physical comedy skills continue to resonate with audiences today. In the popular sitcom Three's Company, John Ritter portrayed Jack Tripper, a character originally named Robin Tripp in the British version Man About the House. After Ritter's untimely death in 2003, the first season DVD set was released in haste to meet public demand. In Eight Simple Rules, Ritter took on the role of Paul Hennessy, a character that TV Guide ranked as one of the 50 greatest TV dads of all time in their June 20, 2004 issue. The actor's portrayal of this character resonated with audiences, leaving a lasting impact on the television landscape. John Ritter, an actor renowned for his comedic talent, left an indelible mark on the industry. His work in television, particularly on Three's Company, brought a fresh and modern approach to storytelling. According to Robert Bianco, TV critic for USA Today, Ritter's performance was a key factor in making Three's Company a hit, as he brought a unique blend of physical comedy and charm to the role. Ritter's influence extended beyond his own performances, as he inspired a generation of actors. John Ritter was a master of physical comedy and a true inspiration to me, said actor Sean Hayes. His work on Three's Company was groundbreaking and will always be remembered. In addition to his work in sitcoms, Ritter also made a significant impact in film and theater. His performance in Sling Blade was praised by critics and audiences alike. Ritter's portrayal of a kind-hearted, small-town man in Sling Blade was a departure from his comedic roles, but it showcased his versatility as an actor, said film critic Roger Ebert. Ritter's contributions to the industry also included his work as a director and producer. He directed several episodes of Three's Company and produced the series Hooperman and The Dreamer of Oz. Moreover, Ritter's influence can be seen in modern television and film. His physical comedy style can be seen in the work of actors such as Jim Carrey and Will Ferrell. Additionally, the ensemble cast and comedic timing of shows like The Office and Parks and Recreation can be traced back to Three's Company and Ritter's influence. In conclusion, John Ritter's impact and influence on the industry are undeniable. His contributions as an actor, director, and producer have left a lasting impact on television and film. His work continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. During the show's successful run, Suzanne Somers demanded a salary increase and ownership stake, leading to conflicts with the producers. John Ritter, the show's star, had a clause for the highest pay. Summer's demands were denied, leading to her absence from three episodes and eventual firing. Ritter and Joyce DeWitt were the only main cast members to stay for the entire show. John Ritter's biography is featured in the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives. John Ritter, an actor known for his comedic talent, led a life that extended beyond the silver screen. In his personal time, he cherished spending quality time with his family and engaging in various hobbies. Ritter was a passionate musician who enjoyed playing the guitar and singing. He would often perform at charity events, using his musical talents to give back to the community. His love for music even translated to his acting roles, as he showcased his singing skills in several productions. The actor was also an animal lover and had a soft spot for rescue dogs. He often used his platform to raise awareness about animal welfare and supported various animal shelters. In addition to his personal interests, Ritter was deeply committed to philanthropy. He was involved in numerous charitable organizations and actively participated in fundraising events. He had a particular interest in supporting children's hospitals and made significant contributions to various healthcare initiatives. John Ritter's personal values and interests often influenced his work, as he frequently chose roles that aligned with his beliefs and passions. His dedication to his craft and his philanthropic efforts have left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry and the communities he supported. 
Reader's Life serves as a reminder that success extends beyond professional achievements. By using his platform to make a difference in the world, he has inspired many to follow in his footsteps and give back to their communities. His legacy continues to resonate with fans and industry peers alike, leaving a lasting mark on the entertainment landscape. During the final season of Three's Company, a spin-off series titled Three's, a crowd was being planned, which caused tension on the set. The producers attempted to keep it a secret, but co-star Joyce DeWitt accidentally discovered the auditions for the part of Vicky. This led to disappointment among the cast, as the series would continue without them. Among the cast members, John Ritter, who played Jack Tripper, was the first to pass away in 1997. He was the youngest of the cast, and his death at the age of 55 was unexpected. Prior to his death, Ritter's co-star, Audra Lindley, who played his landlady, had died in 1997 at the age of 79. Her on-screen husband, Norman Fell, died 14 months later at the age of 78. Don Knotts, who played the building's handyman, died a little over seven years later at the age of 81. During Susan Summers' contract dispute in 1980, there were claims that Ritter was making $150,000 per episode and had 10% ownership in the series. However, Ritter was only making $50,000 per episode in 1980 and had no ownership in the show. He did receive more money due to his star billing on the show. When Ritter did the spin-off series Three's a Crowd, he received a substantial raise plus ownership, which Summers and DeWitt were not a part of. John Ritter, an actor known for his comedic talent and versatility, left an indelible mark in the industry. His work in Three's Company and Problem Child brought laughter to many households. Ritter's legacy is a testament to his ability to seamlessly transition between slapstick humor and more serious roles. For those aspiring to follow in his footsteps, Ritter would likely advise embracing versatility and taking on a variety of roles. He once said, I love doing different things. I'm not a one-note actor. This advice encourages aspiring professionals to step out of their comfort zones and explore different genres and characters. Ritter's career also highlights the importance of hard work and dedication. He began his career on stage before transitioning to television and film. His commitment to his craft and willingness to learn and grow as an actor contributed to his success. In terms of future contributions, the actor's legacy continues to inspire new generations of performers. By embracing versatility and continuously honing their craft, aspiring professionals can carry on Ritter's legacy and make their own mark in the industry. In conclusion, John Ritter's legacy serves as a reminder of the power of versatility and dedication in the entertainment industry. His advice to aspiring professionals encourages them to explore different roles and continuously learn and grow as artists. John Ritter, the actor, was born on September 17, 1948. He was well known for his comedic talents, particularly in the classic sitcom Three's Company, where he played Jack Tripper. His physical comedy and quick wit brought laughter to many households during the show's run from 1977 to 1984. In addition to his work on Three's Company, Ritter also appeared in various films and stage productions. He starred in the movie Skin Deep and the Broadway production The Dinner Party. His ability to switch between comedy and drama showcased his range as an actor. Ritter's career spanned over three decades, and he left behind a legacy of memorable performances. His work continues to be celebrated and appreciated by audiences today. The joy and laughter he brought to people through his acting will always be remembered. Ritter's passing on September 11, 2003, was a loss to the entertainment industry. However, his work lives on, inspiring future generations of actors and entertainers. His contributions to the world of television and film will always be cherished. So, what are your thoughts on John Ritter's work and legacy? Share them in the comments below, and let's celebrate this classic actor together. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment.